everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Please excuse the mess behind me. I'm rearranging my basement right now. This is the best spot to film. <laughs> and if you want to see a video reviewing these guys, let um go to my channel. You can see it for Styly and Eclair's review. But this video today, I have bought all of the mini Hello Kitty and Friends mini blind bags so that we can do so we can figure out what the code on the packaging of each one is. Um, I've opened three already, so I'll show you those ones as well as these ones. So this is where the code is on the bag right here, and it's 3000 OB and then a letter. Now this code might expire. This is the code for the first release. It's possible it'll change. If your code is not 3000 OB and then a letter, it's a different wave than mine and I can't help you. Um, but I'm going to show you the ones that I got yesterday. So B is Hello Kitty in this pink outfit. This is 3000 OBB. Pom Pom Purin is 3000 OBE. And it's Pom Pom Purin with this little bow tie. And then my melody with the red riding hood, like her original look, is 3000 OBG. Let me get it to focus a little bit better, sorry. There we go. All right. So now we're going to be opening the other ones. I'll do it in order just so it's easier if you're at the store and you want to be able to use this as a guide. So we're gonna go with 3000 OBA first. Here's the proof that that's the one I'm opening. And if you wanna see proof that the ones I'm opening are the ones that I'm saying they are, I have a video that I uploaded. It's the video with the dolls. That's where I open those ones. All right, so 3000 OBA. It's Choco Cat! Yay! This is the one I really wanted! Oh my gosh. Okay, so Choco Cat is one of my most wanted. Of course I'm gonna get them all, but I just didn't expect to open him so soon. Yay! I really wanted Choco Cat. They went with the light purple, I guess, to fit the more, like, pastel theme of this line. Um, Choco Cat comes in a pizza Hello Kitty cup. And if you don't know, these are, like, little backpack hangers that... So you stick the bow on, they're pretty sturdy, like it should stay together, and then you put your figure in, there's a little peg for your figure to sit, and then you put the lid on using the hole in the figure's head. The figures also double as pencil toppers. And then you can remove this part and you have a stamp. So I'm gonna show you the stamp. Ironically, it's a piece of paper MGA sent me in the mail. <laughs> Sorry, Mattel. Or sorry, MGA. Um, it's a pizza stamp, of course. All right. And real quick, I'm gonna show you what the other stamps do. I just realized you might want to see that um, in case you're not just buying them for the figure. All right, so that is A. Next, I'll show you the stamp of B, which is the Hello Kitty one. I'm not sure, ooh, actually, I kind of mixed up which one was which. I'm pretty sure ice cream was the first one. Let me just refresh myself real quick. Yeah, so french fries went with my melody. I know that. And then the taco went with pom pom Purin. Okay, sorry, I had to double check everything. All right, so 3000 OBB, which is Hello Kitty, comes with this stamp, which is a ice cream cone. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm stamping it, like, in the air. Okay, so that's not great. These stamps are great, by the way. They're good quality. Can you see it? Yeah, so it's that one. All right. Next, we're going to move on to C. I'll show you the other stamps when we get to them in the alphabet. So 3000 OBC is next. 3000 OBB, again, was the Hello Kitty in the pink dress. All right, so let's see what C is. C is another Hello Kitty. This is C. And it's a Hello Kitty in an ice cream cone. I really like this ice cream cone, actually. So C is Hello Kitty in an ice cream cone. I'm hoping the stamp is different. Um, here is Hello Kitty. Oop, dropped her. So it's Hello Kitty in a yellow, oh my goodness. Hello Kitty in a yellow dress with stripes. And these also double as pencil toppers, if I haven't said that. I just don't have any of that kind of pencil handy. All right, so the stamp on the ice cream cone is a popsicle and not ice cream. Another one does come with ice cream cone, but it's kind of weird. Ooh, I kind of stamped that wrong. Sorry, you can't put too much pressure and you can't put too little pressure. There we go. At the bottom left, 
the popsicle. All right, so that's C. These are really cute. <laughs> I'm really enjoying them. All right, next is D. Come on, Croppy, come on. This is, uh, I think that's Maru, who, okay, so this is D, let me prove it to you. And D is Bats Maru. Get him out of here. Come on. He is light purple just like Choco Cat instead of black like he would normally be. Very cute. I really like how well painted these figures are. Like, I'm pretty impressed with them. Um, all right, and this one is a mug with french fries in it. It kind of seems random what the stampers are made out of. Uh, and then it appears to be a hamburger for the stamp, so let's... Yeah, so there's the hamburger stamp for Batsmaru, and it's purple. And the backpack hanger piece is a blue bow. Oh, and they, they open like this. You know how it goes. Alright, so that is... Um, was it D? Yeah. Next, E, which is... Um, pom Pom Purin. Oop. Styly fell. Pom Pom Purin is E, and I wanted to show you the stamp. So, his stamp, I can't tell if it's a watermelon or a taco. His stamper is themed after a strawberry, so your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> um, it really looks like a taco to me, but maybe it's a watermelon. Because this whole line, like all of the little decals they put everywhere are fruits, but this whole, there's like a hamburger, so it could be a taco. I don't know. All right, so we just did E, next is F. Um, these are kind of short packed. There were only two F's and there were a bunch of the other ones. Um, there were two, there were several that were probably short packed, but F specifically, there were only two. I can tell you that for sure. <gasps> it's Karapi! Yay! Okay, this is the one I really wanted. Karapi's my favorite. Okay, so he's harder to get out of here with my, my big fingers. Okay, let's get the stamper. There we go, okay. So it's Crappie in Crappie's normal outfit. The red and white striped, like the original outfit. So I like that my Melody and Crappie both have their original outfits, it's really cute. Um, at least the original outfit to me, like the one that I've seen him in more. Um, and this one is a black ice cream scoop with a pink cake cone and then a yellow stamper. The stamp is another popsicle, but it's a different shape. So let me stamp it for you. I love that it's green for Karapi. There's the green popsicle. So it's different from at the bottom left, there's a red popsicle, a little different. So if you're buying these, make sure you get F first. F is Karapi. <laughs> All right. And last, but certainly not, le or we don't know if it's least. We don't know. Is H. Oh, and then obviously there's, um, wait, uh, my melody is G. Yep, G, sorry. Um, my Melody was G. There's the My Melody figure. Sorry, I got totally twisted. And now I'm gonna put My Melody back in the mug so we can try. So her stamp is French fries and it's blue. I don't know why hers is blue instead of red, but Hello Kitty got red, I guess. Sorry, I'm having trouble with this stamp, come on. All right, varying degrees of success up there. It's the blue stamp of French fries fun and cute. These are really fun if you like minifigures and you like stationery or either or. They're nice stamps or they're nice figures. You get both and it's Hello Kitty themed. It's super fun. Um, last but certainly not least is H. This is the last one in the line. I'm actually not sure. Is it going to be a pink My Melody? Because we already got all of the characters that I know of. It's pink My Melody. So red My Melody is my favorite just because that's what I grew up on. Um, she was red, but they changed it to pink recently. So G is red. I've never had this happen before, but my camera app just crashed. H is pink. Sorry, wait, let me, yeah, H is pink, G is red. Okay, so Pink My Melody comes with the like magenta mug with Hello Kitty on it, of course, and then like a drink top with a little unpainted straw. And then this pink bow is the attachment but it's more of like a purpley pink and now let's try the stamp so the stamp is a little smoothie 
and it's like a magenta color, same as the taco or the watermelon. Uh, there's the smoothie, it's at the top there. Um, yeah. There's a blue bow here that I didn't attach to somebody. Is that Karapi's? Yeah, Karapi had a blue bow, sorry. All right, so now I'm gonna take some pictures and make an edit thing so that y'all can use that as a reference, but that's it for this video. These are really cool. I cannot wait to see a series two because there's so many characters they could do. Obviously it's San Sanrio, but like, there's so many characters that they can do. So many. And there's so many obscure characters that they could bring to life again, and since it's a blind bag set, even obscure characters would attract collectors, but also if a kid got an ex obscure character, they couldn't really be that mad because it's a $3 blind bag toy. You know, so it's like a win-win. I really hope Mattel does it. I don't know how many characters they've gotten access to the... I don't know if Sanrio was like, you can use our Sanrio characters, go ahead, or if they said, here are the eight you can use, I'm not really sure. Gudetama is in one of the play sets though. Not not like a figure of Gudetama, but like an egg that is themed after Gudetama. And it says Gudetama in the description of the play set for the dolls. So Gudetama at least is a character that we can get. Um, really happy with these. I'm really glad if they don't have the rights to everybody, they at least got the rights to Chaco Cat because that hopefully means we'll see Chaco Cat in wave two of the dolls. Um, let me know what you think of this line. I really, really like it. I'm really excited to see more and I can't wait to pick up the play sets. Play sets are a little expensive for what they are, a little bit. So it might take me a second to get a hold of them. But if you guys want to see the play sets, let me know and I will happily review them. I just, I don't have unlimited money, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and stay tuned for the checklist thing. Bye.